I'm here at the PDAC 2015 and I'm interviewing George Grzynski. He's the Vice President of Impact Silver out in Bank North Vancouver, Canada. First of all, George, I just want to ask you this question. How does a guy growing up in uh, St. Clair and Oakwood in downtown Toronto get involved with something as exotic as mining? Well, you know, I, I just I just love being outdoors. Right, right from the time I, I was very young, when I was in high school, I was president of the, of, the, of the outdoors club. You know, we went on canoe trips and hiking trips, and it just went from there. I went to the University of Toronto, got my geology degree, and it's uh, never looked back since then. So, t uh, before we get to uh, Impact Silver, tell us a little bit of some of the highlights of uh, what brought you from... Uh, Toronto, eventually to Impact Silver. What happened in between? Well, out of school, I mainly worked in Canada, in the Maritimes, British Columbia, Yukon, and then as most geologists, once you get some experience under, under your belt, then you start working internationally. Lived in Africa for five years, you know, Indonesia, Russia, Albania, you name it. I've I, I worked in a lot of places. Who would have ever thought of it? From St. Clair and Oakwood to Indonesia, Russia, Africa? Wow. And now Mexico. And now Mexico. So tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Impact Silver and where your company is. Impact Silver is a small silver producer down in, in Mexico. Uh, we have a 500 ton per day mill fed by uh, three different mines. You know, the price of silver is low these days, but the mines are fairly high grade, so we're, we're managing to, uh, to survive these, these low metal prices and hoping for, for better, better metal prices. And uh, uh, I guess just briefly, uh, what's in the future for Impact Silver? Well, get through the low metal prices, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and, uh, and once you know, we, we've gotten our costs down, and uh, once silver prices start to go up, every dollar the silver price goes up just, just goes straight to the bottom line. So, so I see a very good future with, uh, with higher metal prices. Okay, I guess in conclusion, if there's uh, one message you want to set out to uh, students out there and also maybe potential investors, uh, what are the final two things you'd say? Well, for, for potential investors, you know, look at our company, you know, we're, we're survivors and we're going to be here for the long haul. For students, I always say to students, you know, follow your dream, follow what you're passionate about, and whether that's in mining or, or some other area, but go with what you're passionate about and work hard at it, and, uh, and, and you're going to do well. Well, thank you very much, George, and I guess someone uh, who I have known since uh, grade nine at, at Oakwood Collegiate, you certainly have followed your dream, and uh, we're all very proud of you. Being a great a geologist has just been a great life for me. You know, it's full of travel, getting outdoors, and for the most part, not having to sit behind a desk. Thanks a lot, George. Okay.